Pakistan International Airlines Flight 740 was a Hajj pilgrimage flight from Kano, Nigeria to Karachi, Pakistan with an intermediate stopover in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Operated by Pakistan International Airlines, on 26 November 1979, the Boeing 707-340C serving the route crashed shortly after takeoff from Jeddah International Airport. All 156 people on board were killed. Aircraft The aircraft involved was a nine-year-old Boeing 707-340C with serial number 20275 and serial 844. It was released in 1970 and on July 30 made its first flight on 30 July the same year. Ten days later, on 10 August, it was delivered to Pakistan International Airlines and was registered as a PAWB. From 18 March to 20, 1972, the aircraft was registered in the UK as GAZPW, after which on 25 March it was leased to the British British Caledonian Airways Limited Ruin. The aircraft was returned to PIA on 30 September 30 the same year, and on October 1 re-registered as a PAWZ. The aircraft had 30,710 flight hours at the time of the crash. Crash The airliner operated as Flight 740 from Jeddah to Karachi, during which it carried pilgrims returning from the Hajj. There were a total of 156 people on board, 11 crew members and 145 passengers. At 1.29, Flight 740 departed from Jeddah and began to climb to the planned level of 37,000 feet 11, meters. The first warning of an emergency came at 1.47, 21 minutes after takeoff, the flight attendant informed the pilots that a fire had started in the back door. After reporting to the dispatcher about the situation on board and the beginning of the emergency descent from the echelon of 30,000 feet 9, meters, the crew received permission to descend to a height of 4,000 feet 1, meters. The pilot radioed a request to return to Jeddah because smoke was coming into the cabin and cockpit. At 2.03 the crew sent a distress signal. The Jeddah control tower heard the pilot shout, Mayday! Mayday! before the radio went silent. After about a minute, the aircraft crashed into rocks and exploded. The crash site was at an altitude of 3,000 feet 910 meters. All 156 people on board died. The accident remains, to date, the third deadliest plane crash on Saudi Arabian soil and the third deadliest crash involving a Boeing 707. <laughs> Cause. The cause of the catastrophe was determined to be a fire that started in the rear of the cabin. The fire spread quickly, causing passengers to panic and run towards the front to escape the smoke. This disrupted the alignment of the aircraft which, in combination with the strong smoke, incapacitated the flight crew and lead to loss of control of the aircraft. The exact cause of the fire has not been determined. The most likely version is that there was a leak of gasoline or kerosene from one of the stoves, which the pilgrims took with them. Since the ascent pressure in the cabin becomes somewhat lower, a leaky gasket could lead to fuel leakage. There was a malfunction in the electrical circuits, but the rapid spread of fire in this case was difficult to explain due to the nature of the design of the aircraft's electrical systems and protection devices. The chance of the crash being a terrorist attack was not confirmed, as there was no evidence that incendiary devices were used. See also Aviation safety List of accidents and incidents involving commercial aircraft Other aircraft crashes caused by in-flight fires Air Canada Flight 797 Nigeria Airways Flight 2120, operated by Nationair another Hajj pilgrimage flight winking face Saudia Flight 163 another Hajj pilgrimage flight Swiss Air Flight 111 ValueJet Flight 592 UPS Airlines Flight 6 6.5